Steven Spielberg's film, The Post, is about the perils that the Washington Post faced when it published the Pentagon Papers. The film focuses mostly on Katherine Graham, the publisher, played by Meryl Streep. Do you have the papers? Not yet. The story's based on facts, but includes drama. But the risks that Graham and the Post faced were real. If the government wins, the Washington Post will cease to exist. The Pointer Institute interviewed Katherine Graham in 1985 for a series we called News Leaders. As the film opens nationwide this week, listen to Mrs. Graham describe those tense times. The image of me is this, this tough, sort of decisive, combative person who's taken on all these fights. And I just like to say that I hate fights. And I am very courageous only when forced into a corner. And all the battles we got in were ones in which you had very little choice or no choice. Pentagon was different in that there was one rather dramatic decision, namely to go on printing in the face of the Times as being enjoined. And that was, um, there was a dramatic showdown moment in which I had about two minutes to say yes or no, because they wanted, the editors, that is, wanted to continue without pause of a day, even the publication of the papers, uh, because by that time we'd gotten them. And they had had time to write a story. And then the lawyers got wobbly about what might happen to us, understandably, because um, we were just unhappily in the process of going public. And we had announced that we were going public, but we hadn't sold the stock in the company. And so if we were criminally enjoined, which we might have been, it would have endangered the company. Lawyers tend to view their job as, as being cautious and conservative, and sometimes they tell you to do things that in the overall you shouldn't do. And then they did enjoin us, and we were in court, and, and so, you know, you got into the process, and it, in the end it was, we won, but it, if you look at the Supreme Court decision, it was a, it was a Pyrrhic victory a little bit. There were some really awful dissents. And that decision is not a hundred percent wonderful victory.